guys, I'm so tired. I've literally had four hours sleep. I don't feel like a human right now. I feel like a genuine zombie. <sighs> But today's the day. We're going to Sydney, baby. I've got nothing. <laughs> I've got nothing to give. But let's do it. Let's go to Sydney. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Beep. <laughs> when you don't have an e tag, you have to make your own. We didn't do anything. You have to insert your card? Oh, maybe. Oh, no. Remove card. Please remove ticket. Do you need to push a button? What is going on? Not a saga at the beginning. Round two. Okay, we just got to the airport car park. We're going to park our car and then we're going to go check in for the flight. Surely it's not overweight. Surely. Woo! This is like the only time in my life. Bye. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard. It's great to have you with us. Welcome to the airport, guys. We just Oh my god. Guys, look at all of the Kit Kats. Oh my god, I really want to get one. This is insane. This is like heaven for me. Melbourne could never. Looks great over in Sydney. <laughs> I think I want to get the Avro Toast. Surprise, surprise. But I want to get it with eggs and hash browns. Are you going to get the same? Yeah, we add two poached eggs. Ooh. Two. <laughs> oh my god, look at the bread. I don't know if I've ever had this kind of bread before. Guys, look at my plate versus Cal's. Cal's is all set up so nicely. Mine is a mess. <laughs> I did not think about the door. Oh my god, is that a pod machine? Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. This hotel room has a pod machine. And pods. Wait. Well, what a game changer. I was so worried about having to spend like five dollars on a coffee a day. <laughs> like on the office. Yeah. Okay, time for a Sydney mini apartment tour. Welcome to our temporary crib. This is our home for the next two nights. Um so we're gonna pretend like we've just walked in and this is what you see. You're greeted by this weird shadow man. <laughs> okay, so on the right we have this cupboard hanging situation. I'm probably not gonna use this because I'm so scared that I will leave something behind if I use this area. Um, can my camera please focus? Classic. Classic. I actually don't know what this is. I guess this is more storage. Are you meant to hang your jackets up here or something? <laughs> Uh, I assume it's for hanging jackets. We have this mini little kitchen area. I'm very excited about the pod machine. A full length mirror. This is the best thing to have in a hotel room. I'm very excited about it. And then we have the living room slash bedroom. So we have a, I want to say queen bed? Question mark? It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a bed, you know? I love the bed head though. That's sick. It's definitely a queen bed head or even king. <laughs> but the bed, I would say, reflects more yeah. of a double Oh my God, situation. wait, dude, my mom has that. My mom literally has that. A Barrel. Yeah, but like these go across. This is so boring, but like Ta-da! Love a good USB port in a wall plug. What do you call this? A power thing? I cannot speak today. What is this called? PowerPoint? PowerPoint. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Do you like the lamps? Yeah, it's, okay. um, well, it's kind of like a tap. Okay, delete that part. We have a TV, a table, a 
stool? Question mark? This part's a vibe. I feel like Don Draco in like Mad Men. <laughs> I'll have a martini. <laughs> Wait, does this open? Oh, blinded by the light. And then this is the view. I actually think that's, is it a car park? I think it's a bus depot. And we've got the bus depot. Guys, this is the bathroom. This is actually my first time walking in here. Whoa, the shower head. Have you seen this, Cass? The shower head's cool and I love all the wood. Wait, this is actually a really cool bathroom. It's like the exact same shower head we just had at the Ripper. Yeah, literally. And look at this mirror. I like the colors. Like white and wood is my absolute favorite. Like what the f this actually looks really cool. There's a cupboard? No, nope, that's just... Just me breaking everything. Okay, guys, it is 10 to 3. Holy f Okay, this... <laughs> this, <laughs> this still spins around. <laughs> Ooh, okay, anyway, take two. It is Should 10 to 3. Just keep driving. <laughs> I'm about to do my makeup and get ready, but first I have to do my super fun nasal decongestant spray. Love that for me. If you've been keeping up with the vlogs, you will know I've been having so many problems with my ear. It is still blocked. It is still ringing. It's been like a week. Um, so the doctor has given me decongestant stuff to try and like fix it if it's sinus related. Fun times. Okay, three, two, one, fun everyone. That'll get you there. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine if this was the thumbnail. Come to Sydney with me. Oh my god, vomit on my sweater mom spaghetti. Okay. Oh, whew. Okay. So once I've done my nasal decongestant, <laughs> I like to go in with my favorite primer. I'm um, just kidding. I don't even use primer. But I'm about to get ready. So I don't think I've even told you guys like what this trip is and what we're doing here. But one of my uncles and auntie live in Sydney and it was his 40th birthday about a month ago now. So he invited the family to come up to Sydney to hang out, go to the footy, just do a bunch of kind of like birthday stuff. I am so tired. I've literally had like five hours sleep in the last two days so I don't know if anything I'm gonna say makes sense but basically we're all up here to celebrate his 40th to hang out. We also always go to the Bulldogs versus Swans AFL game because they're the two teams that my family like both go for like there's a rivalry in the family of who goes for Bulldogs who goes for Swans so that's what I'm getting ready for now because the game is tonight. I think the game's at like 7 50 p.m. and it's only 3 p.m p.m. now but I am so tired that like if I don't get ready now I'm not gonna get ready you know the vibes like if I don't do it now it's not happening like it simply just will not happen so that's what I'm doing Kel's in the background what are you doing Kel's? Kel's in the background looking for a skincare <laughs> <laughs> Woo! every single day baby so yeah that's the vibes we're here till Sunday it is Friday afternoon I don't know how much I'm gonna film when we're around my family because I kind of just want to respect their privacy and also hang out with them but I'll bring you along to what I I can oh my god that lunch we just had at that cafe i think it was called i have no idea what it's called mecca mecca, mecca <laughs> like mecca cosmetica that place was so good and the lady that served us was so nice as well she gave us extra hash browns for free oh my god i dropped something literally my life but that place was so good oh my god highly recommend i was saying to cal though like sometimes i don't know if the place was actually good or if i was just so hungry <laughs> that's why i like never do reviews because like i don't know what the f i'm talking about ever. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna do the same hair and the same makeup that I do every single day. Except I'm gonna put on some red lipstick because I go for Bulldogs and Bulldogs colors are red, white, and blue. So red lipstick seems fitting. But I'm gonna speed through this. I'm gonna try and wake myself up and it's gonna be fun. I'll see you when I'm all ready and we're gonna go to the game. Okay, it is... I actually don't know the time. I think it's 4.30? 4.35, Cal? Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's 4.35. We're just about to leave and go meet up with my family. They're staying in a hotel that's like maybe 500 meters-ish away from here. So we're going to get some dinner and then we're going to go to the game. So this is my outfit. Also, I haven't put my red lipstick on yet because I'm so scared of getting this on absolutely everything. But I will be wearing this tonight because it's going to match everything so perfectly. So I have a really bad angle to give you this OOTD. But oh, actually, no, there's a mirror. See what I mean? Hotels with full-length mirrors are the best. So I have this sweater from Princess Polly. These jeans that I got thrifting. I think the brand tag actually is on the back so I'll pop it up on the screen. This blazer is from Princess Polly as well. My scarf is from, I don't know, but it's a bulldog scarf. And then I just have my dupe Doc Martens from Big W on. I don't think I'm allowed to take my camera to the footy so I'm gonna vlog on my phone but let's go because I said we would leave in 10 minutes and it's probably been like 20. <laughs> Oh, 
Good morning. It is 11.48 a.m. It has been such a hectic start to the morning. Cal and I slept through all of our alarms. We have mini golf, like holy moly, booked with the whole family for 12. It's 11.48 a.m. And we literally got up at 10 past 11. I was stressing out. I'm like, oh my God, I have to get ready so fast. Cal made this coffee with the little pod machine that we have. So I'm hoping this will bring me to life. I don't know what happened yesterday, but I definitely ate something that my stomach didn't like because I could not get to sleep and I was exhausted. Like I'd had five hours sleep in the last like 48 hours. I could not get to sleep. And then at like three or 4 a.m., Let's just say I was violently ill. I was violently ill for like an hour. So then I think I slept from like five till I guess 11. So I've had like six-ish hours sleep, but I'm gonna down this coffee. My makeup is questionable. Like I feel like I can see a highlight there. Oh, this is my outfit. I have the same cardigan from last night from Princess Polly. And then I have these purple pants from Princess Polly as well. I'm so obsessed with them. Like I'm in love with them and I'm so excited to wear them for the first time today. And then I just have my dupe Doc Martin fake shoes from Big W that I always is where so that's the fit that's the vibes gonna drink this have some water find something to eat and win at holy moly somehow oh no <laughs> Wait, did it just stop? Anyway, it was pouring with rain. Today is meant to be the worst day weather-wise. Like, I checked the weather app and it was like a 100% chance of rain. So, I'm just getting ready. I just had a message from my uncle. I feel like I haven't spoken to you in so long. Yesterday, we were just kind of like go, go, go all day. And the time that we did have a break, we were just chilling with the family. So, I feel like I haven't spoken to you since like yesterday morning when I was in a chaotic rush. But yesterday was so much fun. Today is our last day it is 9 56 now so check out is at 11 but today's gonna be a fairly chill day i think i think we're honestly just going back to my uncle's place like my uncle who lives in sydney because he's been staying in a hotel as well around this area i think we're just gonna go back to his place and chill i mean like it's raining as well i thought for a bit before i checked the weather i was like oh maybe we could do something really fun like just cal and i because we've spent obviously like the whole weekend with the family maybe we could like do something really touristy like go to luna park or like just even walk over the bridge or something but like it's pouring down with rain and i'm literally just don't care <laughs> you know when you want to have plans and then the weather's bad and you're like i don't care i'm not going anywhere that's how i feel and i'm actually really excited just to spend more time with the family it's honestly been the main purpose of the trip like i told you yesterday or the day before but it's just been so nice to chill and like catch up with everyone because i don't see my family super often probably only like a couple of times a year if that so it's been nice just to chill and to hang with everyone but i'm doing my makeup now because i actually don't know if we are gonna go somewhere not gonna do my hair because because it's pouring down with rain and I just cannot put in all that energy to straighten my hair for the rain to be like no sis no so that's the vibes Kel's just gone downstairs to see if he can grab some croissants or pastries because this hotel has this thing where you can buy a coffee it has like a little coffee machine and you can get this like pastry and coffee combo and we don't have anything else for breakfast and don't really have time or really want to go out for breakfast so Kel's on a mission to try and find something but that's the vibes welcome to the last day oh my god my throat <laughs> welcome to the last day our flight's at like 5 or 5 30 I actually really need to check that my grandma is flying back with us and she asked me to say what time the flight was and I was like 5 5 30 question mark breakfast time 
Can I just take a giant bite into this or am I meant to like cut it in half? I, tear them apart. I think I'm just gonna bite into it. This is a gluten nightmare, but it's so worth it. I'm starting to get a little bit worried that our bag has stayed in Sydney. 